all these memories, they just bring me back to the same place. Getting crushed to death in the fist of some genetics experiment gone wrong. Not the way I thought I'd go out. Shame, really. Now that we've got this big gang... Gang. More like a pack of misfits. Either way, we've become a team. We had some real potential there. Could have pulled off some big jobs. Ugh. We were so close. The door to the Cooper vault was opening. But that Dr. M... If there's any justice, he'll get his. I just wish I'd seen what was in there. A stockpile of my family's accomplishments. Would I have measured up? What would I contribute? Would my father have been proud of me or ashamed? Funny, but here I am at the end and suddenly all I can think about is what a coward I've been towards Carmelita. Never took the next step. Looking at Bentley and Penelope, it's clear what life is about. If Carmelita was here, I'd tell her straight out how I feel and quit playing around. Put our professional differences aside and see if we can make it work. That'll never happen now. I can't take this crushing. Just let the pain stop. Sly Cooper and the gang in Honor, Honor Among, among thieves. thieves. I find it amusing that ever since we started this this um, series, my attitude towards uh, the police has changed a lot. I was thinking about it yesterday, and I remember now with Carmelita. Like, six months ago or a year ago, it was like, yeah, okay, cops are cool. Sure, they do a good thing. And I was like... Yeah, they do a good thing, but <laughs> <laughs> oh. America, America has ruined me. Lieutenant Cron, get your squad together. We're about to see some action. Yes, ma'am. Lock and load, you ace. We're going in. So anyway, so picking up where we left off, I guess, um, this fight is extremely simple. It has three phases. The first phase, you have to just shoot him while avoiding the goons that he throws back at you. Just watch out for the shadow on the ground. I mean, it's, it's kind of like an... or where they land. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Just shoot him. The second phase, you have to jump out. Well, to start the second phase, you have to jump over to this platform before he blows up the boat. If you stay on the boat, you die. I presume I don't stay on the boat because I'm not stupid enough. So, what are we fighting? Is it a turtle robot? We're fighting some giant. Uh, some gi giant rat from the South America. I forget what it's called. Uh, anyway, here are some lobster crocodile chickens. Yeah, uh, you can just knock them off with the kick, which is actually useful for this for once. Which is exactly what the kick was built for, actually, to knock back enemies into the water. And yeah, I mean, it, you can also just shoot them. So yeah. And for the final phase, we have this small little rock here. And after he had decided to stop aggroing that rock, he'll stop come over here and start trying to punch us. He can either punch us with one fist in the middle, uh, or he can pu try and punch us with two fists on the sides, or he has a third, which is a swiping attack, I believe. So yeah, this is a pretty simple fight. Wrecked. Overall. You happy witch! Why are the police invading my home? I'm here to see that justice is done. Justice? I'm the victim here, defending what's mine from thieves! Looked to me like you were attempting to murder that man. That man, please, you know this is Sly Cobra. You're as transparent as you are narrow-minded. 
Cooper is a criminal. I'm here to bring him and all lawbreakers to justice. I'm no lawbreaker. It was all self-defense. First things first. Put Cooper down and we'll talk terms. Sorry, Madam Cop, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Although I can throw you a long, long way. Go and smash that woman. Crush her bones to paste and toss her in the sea where no one will ever find her. Now to find that cane. I can't believe this idiot just brought it to me. <laughs> Poor fool. He looks just like his father. And he's just as dead. Sly! He's over here! He's still breathing? He's alive! Hang in there, pal! You're gonna be okay! We'll get you back to the ship and patch you up! Sly's gonna make it, although he's suffered a major concussion. If he were up and about, I'm sure he'd want us to retrieve his family cake. Oh, crap, you think? Jump in, do the swim, and take it. Legit, eh, my main man, bro? Won't be that simple. That's an electromagnetic buoy. Dr. M has set him up all around the island to snag approaching metal boats. We just lucked out that we came here in a wooden ship. She's right. Get too close and your diving gear will magnetize to it. Ha, da, da, ha. That's an excellent idea, Guru. You're the only member of the team who doesn't carry metal equipment. If you can convince some of the local sharks into joining you in an attack, it might be enough to break the buoy. Oh, that's Jump on the shark and possess him. You'll need to ride out to the rest of the You'll need to ride out to the rest of the pack. You'll need to jump from shark to shark to possess them all. Yeah, sharks are cool, so now we actually get to help shark. We actually get to use sharks, which is pretty cool. I am I am very so, much okay with that. I am a fan of helping sharks. So yeah, what you do is that you take one shark, you jump over to the other where the sharks are. You jump off with the triangle button and then press the circle button to jump onto the next shark. Uh, after you do that, you have to swim towards this buoy, and you can find this buoy by pressing the uh, alter, the L3 button, the uh, pathfinder, whatever okay. you want to call it. Uh, which I didn't realize at first, because I'm stupid. Um, also, as you've noticed, uh, Dr. Ram really doesn't want us to go over to the sharks and back to the buoy, so... He's putting up a bunch of self-defenses. The first one are, are the mines, obviously. Why would you kill sharks? Seriously, if you kill sharks, you are a major asshole. Sharks are the bros of the ocean. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, but Doctor M is an asshole. Ocean, so. If you will, <laughs> Doctor M is an asshole. This is this has been yeah, established. Yeah, I can't imagine actually. Yeah. So technically, aided by nature, yes, Bentley, you are all anthropomorphic naturally. animals. Naturally, that is a key part of the setting, Bentley. Yeah. Also, these uh, el those electrical rods are probably the worst thing you can time it because it's kind of hard to time it. it. The timing is for when it does that third last beep, so it's not impossible, obviously, but yeah, it's a bit hard for the first time you do it. Also, it goes much faster by rapidly jumping, so that's why I usually do that. But it also kind of it also kind of means that you will mess up some of the obstacles. Uh, I won't, because I am not bad at video games. I would like that on record. Yeah, right. But, like, those mines, you can If you don't... Obviously, you don't know what the um, defense system is coming. So you might jump too early, then you jump right into the missiles, and then you take damage, and that's uh, terrible. It is terrible, if you are terrible at video games, yes. Yeah. Also, if you do end up missing one of the sharks, you can still go back to get it. You don't have to get all four at the same time, thankfully. But oh well. Oh no! It exploded and they came and turned it into the water. Rip. Oh my god! 
I'm gonna... Uh. It's okay, Guru. The cane's not lost. We've got a diver on the team, remember? I'll have Penelope prep Dimitri for the job. I'm, I'm a star. Don't talk like that. No one else could have got the cane off that magnet. You're a credit to the team. Just leave your shark friends behind. They freak me out. Bentley's tending to slide. He wanted me to prep you for the mission. We. Oui. The turtle dude made sounds for a scuba. There you go, baby. Demetria Natural. Woo! Your plan? She's worked to perfection. My plan to get you alone in a swimsuit? Come clean, my lovely, and play your cards straight. These are dangerous waters, and I'm a big, strong, macho, macho man. Okay, first, get over yourself. Second, I mean it, get over yourself. And third, jump into that water and find Sly's cane. It's the key to the Cooper vault. You can't lose it. Salty language from such sweet lips. I die, baby. I die for the love. This, this, by the way, confirms all of my fanfic. Oh, good. I'm so happy for you. So this is a bit funny. Um, this swimming section is actually kind of different from the last one. Uh, you still have the main controls, obviously. So uh, the face button is controlled the way you, the, where you move. And the L1 button controls how fast you go, which is really important for this first part. Unless you want to take all the damage. Uh, I do not know. Uh, it's easier to swim to sides with the boost button, so use the boost button sparingly. Um, otherwise, yeah, just press the face buttons. You you shouldn't really tell me what to do, by the way. Because, in case you didn't know, you're not my real dad. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I have something to tell you. Are you fighting a giant enemy crab? No, the, no, the gi gi giant enemy crab is fighting, fighting us. Okay. Also, no, it's not just a giant enemy crab, it's a giant enemy crab, deep water fish. Deep water anglerfish. Despite the fact that it's plenty light outside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a giant crab, it's a giant crab with, uh, what is that? What is it called in, uh, yeah, it's a giant crab, jellyfish, deep water anglerfish. So, uh, when does Splatoon rip off this boss? <laughs> But uh, yeah, also, also as I said before, this part of the fight is also majorly different from the original uh, water segment. The face buttons control where you move again, but you all, but you only move around on a uh, one plane, so to speak. So you only move around the boss. So you don't need to use the uh, right hand stick to uh, see the, where you go. Instead, the right hand stick controls your uh, just controls the um, your bullets. All right. By the way, I really uh, dig the translucent effect on it. Yeah, and the way you want to avoid those, uh, uh, the way you want to avoid those mi those mines is that when he shoots them sideways, you want to go quick to the side. When he shoots them uh, horizontally, you want to go quick downwards. All right. Uh, I we didn't get time to to explain that because I had to speed everything up because it was kind of boring. Uh, yeah, he also has giant lasers that you want to avoid by quickly going to the sides. Giant and lasers are my jam. Yeah, and also avoid the yellowfish. The yellowfish the tentacles by uh yeah, just avoiding them. It's a fun fight, but it uh this video would be way too long if I just kept everything in. Sorry. This video is twenty seven minutes long. The the whole re the whole re recording session it was like one hour and fifteen minutes, I think, and I cut it down to two parts. So yeah. That rude dude threw down heavyweight. I had him solid, but he ran, baby. Ran! And now I'm flat nowhere. You were... magnificent! Alone against a creature trapped in an undersea cave. How about a kiss for Monsieur Magnificento? My lips are warm, like bread from the oven. 
slow down. Remember rules one and two, both of which told you to get over yourself. Both before my magnificent. Yum, yum. Give me some. I'm gonna check on Bentley. You have fun being you. I'm mad to the jack to the Ibison, baby! Should be back in bed after the thrashing he took. Another blow to the head and your brain could snap. Quit your worrying. I feel fine. Did Dimitri find my cane? No. Dr. M managed to get away with it. Then we gotta go. You're going nowhere, pal. Any attempt on Dr. M or the Cooper vault will be impossible with these radar towers linked to the missile turrets. Wait a second. Penelope. Have you completed that work we talked about on your RC car? Yeah? Oh, I see where you're going. That'll work! Smash the drones, siphon their power, and fry the tower's matrix. Perfect! Let's get your car onto a drone patrol pipe! Not to be too obvious in exposing my ignorance, but, uh, what in the world are you two talking about? Explaining it would include a lot of multisyllabic words. I could just show you. Bring on the demo. Kendakin, can you launch my RC car to that pipe? <laughs> With the fireworks, it will fly as the bird. Fly, bird! All right, my sweet princess of electronic dominance. Time to so, because Bentley attached the turret to his... Um, to his uh, remote cam, remote camera. I forget the actual name of it. Sorry. Uh, we have to use the bumpers to. Uh, we have to use the bumpers instead, and use the bumpers by using R1 and L1. It's it's one of the uh, bumper buttons. I forget which ones. Anyway, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is you have to go up and you have to collect these uh, energy balls. Also, you collect enough energy balls. Uh, Bender will open up the gate. At which point you will go. Onto the ramp when it comes to fly balls, to I'm, I'm terrible at handling them. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not really sure why Bentley couldn't just reattach the turret. I understand why he couldn't buy it because he clearly they ran straight from the they uh, uh, boated, they sailed straight from the Caribbean to here. So I understand that they get, didn't get another turret, but still, we can just reattach the turret. Anyway, yeah. So we are. So we have three areas to. Three areas to go through. Oh, now. it's R two and L two. Oh yeah. Thank you, game, for telling me. Hurrah. Even the game knows you can't get good on your own. Right. Said I Shut just up. as you died. <laughs> Shut up. And yeah. It is. It is honestly a fun section, but it, sometimes what can happen is that. Because the cars, because of how the cars spawn, sometimes you can just completely lose track of where the cars are, and you can just drive around for a long time without finding them. So yeah, that's a thing that can happen, and that actually happens to me in like in this area. I just lose all cars for like one and a half minutes. Thankfully, we won't see that because I cut it out. But still, it's kind of sad. Rip. Just like, <laughs> just like my half pipe driving actually. Or clearly, anyway. Also, yeah, you can totally take out cars in in me there if you're good enough. Sadly, but you're not. Uh, yeah, I, I had too little speed to catch up to him. I would play an entire game built around that, to be honest. Yeah, it's like fun. just running around, crashing cars, getting bullshit. Yeah. Although that's kind of like how I play most racing games. It's it's basically Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah, I'd consider that. I would say it's basically Twisted Metal, but I don't actually know how Twisted Metal plays. We've got a chance at air superiority here. I'm in. I've rested long enough. You sure? This is my legacy we're fighting for. You think I want to sit this one out? Understood. The biplane launcher, although untested, should get you a lot. It's gonna be tough up there. Be tougher down here watching others fight my battles for me. Destroy their 
This part is actually kind of fun and easy. Basically what you have to do is you have to wait until the turret's fired and then you just uh, barrel roll to the left and shoot up the uh, the green screen. Uh, the energy, or whatever it's called. It's pretty fun, actually. Uh, you can also, if you want to be risky, you can also just crash right into the uh, green stuff. If you want to, and it will also take out the shield. It will also take out the... Uh, what are those anyway? Are those radars, I guess? Oh, whatever. Uh, they seem For like targeting uh, computers or something. Yeah. In any case... Uh, then again, I have no idea why they're off to the side and not more protected. But hey, video games. Well, they, w well, they wouldn't have mattered because the those radar towers we just took out, they were supposed to just auto-fire, alter all the missiles towards the plane. So yeah. So those are just the backup targeting yeah, that could computers, be. I, I guess. Then again, if it's a backup, you probably don't want it exposed, so same point. Yeah. Yes. Also, because we use the L1 button for... Uh, we use the L1 button for other things. So we can't actually upgrade the plane to the uh, to the sheeting plane this time around. Rip. Rip. That's actually... Yeah, that's kind of important, I guess. This seems like fun, honestly. Reminds me of that uh, Crash 3 mission with the airships. Yeah. Also, here are some... Uh, also, there are some bat B rays, I guess. In any case, for this point, we also have the uh, R1 button to fire off our uh, missile that we have on the plane, which is the reason why we can't upgrade the plane to the Tanami plane, because we actually have a use for the R1 button this time around. What we have to do is we have to line up the... Uh, we have to line up the uh, reticle with the bats. And then, yeah. We Nail that guy! Of course, uh, once you take down the shields, the shields can actually go back up again. So, yeah, be quick. And also, just directly fire at them. Again, oh my god, Jesus, that was so bad. Yeah, that was terrible. It will go up again. Thankfully, I managed to like shoot through his shield anyway, so whatever. Uh, also, you can also crash right into the bats if you want to. It also works. Oh my god, Simeon, giant flying whale. Hmm, what he what I wonder what he means by that. Sidekick no more. Hmm, how mysterious. Anyway, hope you're ready for some hope you're ready for some trippy shit, because you're gonna get real trippy in a second, because see, I sped this up again because this again goes on for a while. But it's Yeah, uh, well I can tell from the damage you're dealing. Yeah, um so basically uh, the doctor this the whale fight is is split up into four parts. The first part he has he uh, shoots out the one of those uh, drones. Uh, the second phase, he, he shoots, shoots out, out these... Uh, 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 LSD tablets. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What you have to do is you have to fly in the middle of these to probably shoot him. I you can't just shoot with on this. more normal pattern than that. Yeah. Like, that pattern works in 2D, not in 3D. Yeah. Uh, for the third phase, he shoots up three mines. And for the fourth phase, he actually has the easier pattern of that. Uh, he has uh, this easy Holy pattern, which is even more trippy in this speed up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. But yeah, yes, I have to fly in the middle of these. Direct middle. If you fly even to the one to the side, you will blow up. Or take a lot of damage, at least. This isn't working, Bentley. He's literally laughing at us. Just give me time! I'll think of something! I'm settling this now. Face to face. Paragliding over to that creature? You're out of your mind! Oh no, Sly, what are you doing? Yeah, do some risky things here by just suddenly dropping. Go for broke. YOLO. Swag. Hit strong, just like your father. You don't know anything about me or my father. Really? Well, who let you in on the secret of this place, eh? Was it my old pal McSweeney, perhaps? McSweeney works for you? 
This was all a setup to get the cane. No, my boy. Once upon a time, he and I worked together for your dear old dad. My father wouldn't have run with the guy who tried to steal from the Cooper vault, let alone attempt to kill his son. Time does strange things to people. Just look at the real leader of your gang, Bidley. Whatever. We're friends. Equal. Then why is it called the Cooper Gang, you self-centered egomaniac? That's enough. <laughs> Time to meet the past. Bentley, you there? Yeah, pal? I'm about to head inside the vault, and I want you and Murray to come with me. We're a team, a family. We should do this together. Okay, be right up, partner. Nice! We'll have the Panda King give the band a boost! Stay clear, Sly! We're about to get awesome! The fuse is lit! 